Life is full of problems. They could be marital, financial, spiritual, or medical. Some of these problems can be solved by a phone call, money, political power, your doctor, or your contacts. However, you may soon come across a problem that defies any solution. In Kakrabading's book, Rules of Engagement, you will learn how to use the spiritual weapon of prayer and be victorious over evil when it comes knocking at your door. Now is the time to learn how to pray before the evil days come. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Rules of Engagement at the comment section or message window. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Hello. Kakra continues his exciting teaching on the subject he that have under the subtitle, Little Things, sharing subtle keys that make a big difference between those who have and those who don't. Today, he speaks about living. Let's join in. Next one, a little leaven. Leaven in the Bible usually stands for yeast. But you know, yeast, what yeast does is that it influences dough. So when you put yeast in bread, the bread just rises overnight. Influence. So leaven is used as a symbol of evil influence. And when you are making bread, the amount of yeast that you take is not, in, is not the same as the amount of uh, flour that you take. You just need a little yeast. Just that, just that little yeast is enough to influence the whole bread. In 1 Corinthians 5, the Bible says, It is reported commonly there is this very fornication among you. And such fornication as is not so much as named among the Gentiles. The ones you have his, father, his father's wife. And ye are puffed up and have not rather mourn that he that has done this deed might be taken away from amongst you. Verse 6, it says, Know ye not that a little leaven leaveneth or influences the whole lump. Sometimes, there is just one small thing which is causing all the problems in our lives. In the plane, there's called something called a transponder in the plane. When the Malaysian Airlines MA370 370 got missing, which they can't find up to today, the pilot did only one thing. One small thing in the plane called a transponder. He switched it off. So when they transmit, it doesn't get to the plane. The plane also cannot transmit. A whole huge plane, after today, nobody can find it. Why? Somebody just pushed a little switch. That was it. So, sometimes the difference between having and not having is actually a very small. But you can go around looking at all the big things, checking the big things. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's the cases in my family. Maybe it is this. Today somebody wrote to me. He said, I have been having some dreams. And they say, it is my auntie who is doing it. But you see, one thing I find funny <laughs> about that kind of argument is that nowadays, when the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, <laughs> we are wrestling against flesh and blood. We are blaming human beings, not demons. If it is the human being, then it is the spirit inside the human being. So leave the human being aside and deal with the spirit. So you see, something like this is just a little thing. But that little thing can divert your attention from the evil spirit to a human being. So here we are, a lot of people blaming other people and not taking any responsibility to cast out any spirit. Anybody can say anything as long as he's not responsible. 
I can go and stand here right now and say, I need an airport here, a hard boy here, and a 50 story building here. As long as I'm not responsible, I can be seen anything. Look, in the New Testament, anytime somebody says something spiritual, whatever, Jesus, the disciples, they always took responsibility. They never left their responsibility to somebody else. Thanks for joining us. Today, we learned that just as a little living has the ability to influence a whole batch of dough, so do the little things have a huge impact on our lives. Join us same time tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. My visa has been approved. Dear Kakra, I reached out to you a few months ago about my visa approval and scholarship. I was denied the first time and had to reapply. You replied that you had prayed for me. By the grace of God, I reapplied and my visa has been approved and scholarship retained. I give God all the glory. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.